In Iceland, there could be a new volcanic eruption in a few days or even within a few hours. Since there was a rapid rise of magma near a small village located in the southwest, the Icelandic government was quite concerned. They evacuated 3,000 people. The question is, what exactly is happening from the scientific point of view? Ciao ragazzi, here is Andrea Moccia and welcome to Geopop, Everyday Science. Today I'd like to show you the geological context in a simplified way, even for those of you who are not geological experts. So in the coming days, if you will hear or read something about eruption in Iceland, you will already have a picture of what is going on there. Since Saturday, November 11th, Icelandic authorities have declared a state of emergency and they have evacuated Grindavik, a village in the southwest of Iceland. Magma is moved from a depth of 1500 meters to just 800 meters in a few weeks. So according to local authorities, the chances of an imminent eruption are indeed high. This seems to be confirmed also by satellite data, which clearly show significant ground deformation. In this area, in the last few hours or days, you may have seen images uh, circulating on the web where roads are literally stretched as if they were ripped. Actually, it's not a photomontage, it's not artificial intelligence, but it's the effect of ground deformation due to seismic activity. In fact, thousands of earthquakes have been recorded in a single day. It may seem absurd, I know, but in this uh, geological context, it's quite common before an eruption. But now, in order to truly understand the situation, let's have a look together with a more geological eye to the big picture. Not the detail, but the overall picture of the situation, and the big picture is always sexy in science. In this case, let's zoom out and let's watch Iceland and the Atlantic Ocean from the satellite. This is Google Earth. Actually, the, the scar you see in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, testifying the separation and tearing that began about 70 to 80 million years ago between the Eurasian and North American plates. As you know, these two plates separated and today they continue to move apart at the rate of about two centimeters per year. This car is a volcanic mountain range from which lava emerges and after a relatively quick cooling becomes a rock, new oceanic crust rock. If we follow this ridge northeast, remember this southwest northeast orientation because it's crucial to understand an important aspect of the eruption being discussed these days. I was saying if we follow this car we reach Ta-da! Iceland. Why is Iceland along the mid-Atlantic ridge? Because Iceland is Keep in mind, Iceland is a portion of the ocean floor brought up, meaning Iceland is a section of the mid-Atlantic ridge. This means that when we go on vacation in Iceland, actually we are going on vacation on the ocean floor. I mean, this is absolutely incredible, isn't it? I mean, these things need to be told. And if you follow Geopop, you can discover a lot of incredible things. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to Geopop, channel yet, please remember that the subscription for you is for free, but for us, trust me, it makes a huge difference. Thanks anyway. Now we might wonder why Iceland emerged while the rest of the mid-Atlantic ridge is underwater. Why Iceland specifically? Because under the Iceland there is a so-called hotspot a magma upwelling from the mantle. It's like a sort of fist pushing from below and allowing this portion of the mid-Atlantic ridge to emerge. This hotspot has been active for about 
65 million years. Actually, the, the odd spot is the same mechanism that have rise to Hawaii. And about the Hawaii Islands, we made a video on the geological origin, but it's in Italian. So if you want it in English, please let me know here in the comments. Right, we saw the big picture. Now, with this picture in our mind, let's zoom in in the area of interest in the southwest of Iceland. What stands out is that there are straight geological structure with a southwest northeast orientation. The same identical orientation I was talking about earlier, which is the same orientation as this portion of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. What are these straight structures? They are magma upwelling along faults and faults are tectonic accidents, a sort of big fractures in the rock. These faults, as you can see, follow the same orientation as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge along all of Iceland. So if we go to Google Earth, for example, we can find so many structures orientated southwest, northeast. They all have this orientation, actually because the stress field is perpendicular to that one. But why these structures have this orientation? The reason is related to the stress field. And the stress field is southeast northwest. Hold on, I got an example to show you this, this concept. I need some paper, please. I got it, I got it. If I pull this, if I pull this, uh, pam! You see that? It's perpendicular to my stress field. The stress field is like this because I, I, I pulled in this direction, this direction, and the direction of my fault is that one, is perpendicular. That's it. In Iceland, we got the same concept. But now I want to give you a, a cool geological tip. When you see a linear, a straight geological structure, for example, when we are watching the Earth's surface from, from the airplane, or uh, if you are looking a map, even on Google Earth, well, the linear structure, the straight structure, is a fault at 99% of cases. Straight structure, fault. Circle of structure, 99% is a volcano. However, the eruption expected in Iceland will probably come from one of these elongated structure with a southwest northeast direction. Why? Because they are a preferential pathway for magma upwelling. Another question is where precisely will eruption occur? We don't know the exact coordinates. There is not a well-defined volcano conduit and there is not a formed volcanic cone yet. It can happen at any point along this area. This can also be seen from this map of earthquake epicenters recorded in recent days. As you can see, the epicenters follow the straight line that is the main fault in this area. Attention, according to the experts, the eruption could also occur at sea. And in that case, the contact between magma and water could amplify the explosive nature of the eruption itself. But we don't know for sure, so we will see in the coming days weeks or months. If you, if you are wondering if there will be any risk of tsunami related to the eruption, well, in this case, the tsunami risk is quite low. At the most, if there will be a, a sort of eruptive column with a lot of ash, the airplane routes could undergo some changes, but nothing particularly destructive. In general, in Iceland, the nature of eruptions is more effusive than explosive, meaning the lava tends to flow smoothly. You should know that the magma here does not contain a huge amount of gas, so little gas, less pressure, less explosiveness. Grazie ragazzi, thanks a lot for following us until the end. Please, if you didn't subscribe yet, please do it and we'll see you here on Geopop Everyday Science. Ciao!